everybody, welcome to Medicine Deconstructed. Welcome to part three of our mini series on the immune system. We've talked about the innate immune system. We've talked about antigen presentation. And now we're gonna talk about the adaptive immune system and how B cells and T cells do their job to get rid of the pathogen. You're gonna learn about that and a little bit more today. cell. Now, when you're looking at the B cell, what's its job? So not only is its job to present antigens to T cells and to show T cells how to make a specific type of receptor to bind antigen, but a B cell really produces antibodies. There are five different types of antibodies floating around in your bloodstream. IgA, IgM, IgE, IgD, and IgG, which is the most abundant one. Now, when you look at the structure and function of B cells, if your B cells don't work very well or at all, you can't generate antibodies. They all develop specific receptors that can bind to certain things. So when you become ill or you have a bacteria or a fungus, you're gonna generate antibodies to this. So antibodies are important. T cells, I believe, don't get the credit that they're due. If you'll notice right now in the news, everybody's talking about, oh, I haven't generated antibodies to SARS-CoV-2 and I had SARS-CoV-2. I don't care because T cells are important. Specifically what happens, T cells become activated by dendritic cells. T cells will either be a CD4 type of T cell, which we call a helper T cell. There's also CD8 cells. CD8 cells, again, just a receptor on the cell, CD8, is a cytotoxic T cell. In other words, that cell is specifically going to kill. CD4s are going to communicate with B cells to make antibodies. Human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, infects CD4 cells. So you're not gonna make very many antibodies. So you essentially become immunodeficient, which is why all of those individuals get serious infections. There's also T regulatory cells. T regulatory cells are important because what they do is during the inflammatory response, they're gonna kind of calm things down and allow things to get back to normal as the healing process gets started and you get through that process. If T regulatory cells are abnormal, you can get really sick and that inflammation can keep going and going and going and going and that's not what you want. So understand that all these cells have a job to do. There's a couple of bonus cells. Now, I never know, and we never know where to classify these cells, so I'll talk about them here. There are cells in our body called natural killer cells, and there's even natural killer T cells that look like T cells, but they don't have the full function of a T cell. Natural killer cells will survey the field and notice when cells are infected with viruses and be able to kill certain things and kill certain cells. There's also cells called innate lymphoid cells, which were formerly called lymphoid progenitor cells, and these were discovered in 1997. I was a sophomore in high school. There's three types of innate lymphoid cells. Usually innate lymphoid cell one and three reside within the gut, and innate lymphoid cell type two resides within the lung. Now these cells all produce different cytokines, whether they're interferons for viruses, okay, or whether they're other type of interleukins for other type of infections but all the cells have a job to do. And it's my job to make sure you understand and you can visualize what I'm trying to teach. Because understanding cell communication is probably the single most important thing in medicine because it's gonna allow us to create therapies and allow us to create cures for diseases on a microscopic level with minimal side effects. So today I hope you guys learned about how B cells make antibodies and why and what they do. I hope you learned about how the different subsets of T cells become activated and perform their job. That's important. Now, what I want you guys to know is just like before, I'm here arming you with information. I wanna meet you next week at the Medicine Deconstructed store with some more ammunition. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.